What's up, folks? It's time once again for more Radical Retro Turtle Toy Talk, and this week we're taking things to either a greater height or to a whole new low, depending on your opinion. Our subject is far from one of the most popular TMNT supporting characters, but is still a part of retro turtledom any way you stretch it. So love him or hate him, here is the turtle's tallest teammate, Half Court. Released in figure form in 1992, Half Court had absolutely no media support at all, at least none that I could find. Aside from his file card, there is next to no information on this guy. Even on his card, he's only described as a basketball jamming giraffe and is not given an origin of any sort. As I mentioned though, he is a retro turtle toy, and thus deserves his moment in the sun. So let's take a look-see. Half Court is a well-made figure by the standards of the first TMNT toy line, with a nice sculpt and plenty of playability. I don't know if it was intentional, but he does have an all-American color scheme with his red jersey with the number 34, a white basketball net around his neck and a t-shirt beneath his jersey, and his blue shorts and sneakers. Half Court has a determined look on his face, indicating that his head's in the game. His tongue hangs out of his mouth, perhaps as a tribute to the famous gesture of the legendary Michael Jordan. Based on research, I'm guessing the 34 on his jersey is a nod to Charles Barkley and or Shaquille O'Neal. I'm not very familiar with basketball, but both men have previously worn that number. The only gripe I have with his paint job is the way it looks simply a little too incomplete in places i.e. his spots are painted on his upper arms and neck, but not on his forearms or torso. Half Court is actually a lot more articulate than most other figures from the first line, with a whopping 9 points. He is mobile at his hips, his tail, his waist, his shoulders, and surprisingly, his elbows. His waist can actually be used to move his neck from left to right. Or by pulling his head, you can stretch his neck up and down, adjusting his height to whomever he's playing against. Despite having a dynamically shaped right foot, he's still easy to stand up as his left foot has a smushed basketball underneath it, greatly helping out with balance. Of course, Half Court comes with a slew of accessories that match up with his mutant persona. He's got a beehive basketball, which I'm guessing is the makeshift result of him stepping on his original. The basketball actually has a hole in it, into which goes the peg in the palm of his right front hoof. Half Court also comes with a tire pump pistol, which, except for the color, is the exact same weapon that Sewer Cyclone Raph comes with. For defense, Half Court has his backboard shield, which he can either carry in his left hand, or wear on his back, completing the look of wearing an entire board and net around his neck. Half Court scores points with me, though, by coming with a little buddy figure named Ruff the Ref, although I use the term buddy loosely as Half Court's file card indicates a fondness of a game called Dunk the Referee. Ruff, who I presume is a flamingo, is holding a whistle to his mouth and has one leg in a sling. Because of his pose, standing the woeful wounded waiter up is impossible, so he must either lean against half court or be held by him. As stated earlier, lots of people I've talked to over the years are not fans of half court. I suppose there are valid reasons. Look at him next to other characters like Sandstorm or Sergeant Bananas. Half Court as a giraffe fits into the mutant menagerie just fine, but maybe a basketball player just seems out of place next to a nomad camel warrior or a militant gorilla? But then you have figures like Muckman and Mondo Gecko, who are among my favorite characters, but really how does a garbage man or a skater fit in any better than a baller? 
Of course, it's all subject to opinion, so however one feels about Half Court, no one's wrong. While I wouldn't call him one of my favorites, I think you can do worse than Half Court. Now that you've given him a look, what's your take on him? Radical ruminant or joke of a giraffe? Come hate on him or show him some love at www.radicalretro.com where you can join the forums and chime right in. Radical Retro Turtle Toy Talk is a part of the Pop Culture Network, which is your one-stop shop for lots of video, audio, and written series on toys, comics, wrestling, TV and film, and plenty more. Speaking of shop, the Pop Culture Network has its very own stupendously stocked with Stellar Stuff store. Every purchase you make there helps to keep the Pop Culture Network ball rolling strong, so be sure to pay it a visit. That's it for this week, but I hope to see you in 7 for another all-new Radical Retro Turtle Toy Talk. Stay rad!